Well, the new school year will be here before you know it, which means the struggle of breakfast time returns. And Katie Jordan Hazy, registered dietitian with Novant Health, joins me now with some tips to make a fast and healthy breakfast for your children. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, first off, let's talk about why breakfast is so important. Okay, so breakfast is really, really important. I'm sure everyone's heard, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Actually, 93% of Americans agree with that. Um, but still, a study came out recently that shows that a third of our kids are actually going to school without an adequate breakfast. Um, the study also shows that kids that don't get the breakfast in have lower test scores, decreased focus, and also increased weight gain. Um, sometimes, you know, especially with our adolescents, they feel like skipping breakfast might help them lose weight. But in, in reality, it actually can slow down our metabolism and actually cause weight gain. Okay. All right. So <laughs> talk about some things that uh, you can do to avoid skipping that breakfast. Yeah. So there's a couple really good tips that I like to give to my patients. Um, tip number one is prepare breakfast the night before. Um, if you can't do that, the second tip is just make sure you have some things readily available at home to have in your fridge so that you can get that breakfast and that don't require any preparation. So things like yogurt cups, um, pre-cut up fruit, anything like that that you can kind of just grab and take with you. All right, you got some examples here. Yeah, what we got? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is um, muffin tin omelets. So you can use regular size muffin tins, but I like to use the minis. I just think they're cuter. Um, but you can cut up any veggies that you like. So this is actually a fun one for kids because they can pick which vegetables they throw in um, and they'll actually get some vegetables in their day so this one is just red peppers and onion um, scramble up some eggs fill up your muffin tins with those after you put the veggies in um, I like to sprinkle a little bit of cheese salt and pepper on top and then you just bake it in the oven at 375 for about 12 to 14 minutes and you got enough for a couple of days there. got enough for a couple of days yeah they last in the fridge for a few days so you can really make two or three days at a time for those. all right what about this so this is actually overnight oats. Um, this is one of my favorite go-to recipes. I love oatmeal um, and it's really, really easy. It takes about five seconds in the evening. You just throw in equal parts oatmeal. Um, you can use the steel cut or the regular oats. Um, third a cup milk, so if you do a third cup oatmeal, do a third cup milk, and then a third a cup of Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. um, the Greek yogurt helps add a little bit extra protein to it. And then throw in any toppings you like. Looks like you got blueberries or something yeah, in there. Yeah, so I actually have, it's mixed berries, and I actually like to use the frozen berries because they stay really well in the freezer. Mm -hmm. You pop them in and they kind of come to refrigerator temperature by the next morning. So you just stir it all together, pop it in the fridge, and it's ready to go in the morning. That's awesome. Now where yeah. can we get all of these recipes? So um, you can go to www.novant health slash remarkable you um, and that is where we'll have a lot of recipes there's a lot of information on there about community events that we do as well all right get those kids eating yeah. healthily <laughs> for school yeah thank you so much yeah. we appreciate it thank you for having me